Okay, hello. Robert Snyder, Trappers Point Camp. I'm here in Stratford, Wisconsin. I uh, came down to get some bear bait and some other things. Since I couldn't get into the camp, I had to walk in, obviously. Um, I'm headed up Friday to start cleaning cabins and getting everything ready, get the water turned on. Got an update from some locals that the ice is to uh, the log cabin on the right side, so right up to the sanctuary signs. So we should have an opener. Um, obviously, I'll update with pictures. This is the this is another step that you need to do to get into Canada. I am getting a lot of questions from my guests. You know, hey, what do we got to do to get in? You got to be vaccinated still. Um, you do not need the booster. So it's just uh, either your two two approved vaccines or your one Johnson and Johnson. So that's that's hasn't changed much. Um, you don't need to get tested now. You don't need the boosters. So all you got to do is be vaccinated. Now, in order to show Canada that you're vaccinated, all that fun stuff, obviously bring the cards with you, but you're going to upload them to this I Arrive Can app. So I already did all them steps. So I already created a username, a password, my face ID. Uh, what else? I uploaded, uploaded my passport. Um, if you're using an advanced driver's license, I guess that's, you know, probably be an option on there. I uploaded both my vaccines. One hiccup is my vaccine. Um, is on the same card. So you take the picture and you upload it to both photos on the Arrive Can app. So I can't show you that process because I already did it. Um, so it's gonna ask for picture one, picture two, you just up upload the same photo. If it's on two separate cards, then obviously, you know, photo one for the first shot, photo two for the second shot. So after everything's done, you have to wait up to about four to five days before you can do this app. Um, I believe you can get all that ready. And once you get it all ready, then you should be at this stage. You're gonna hit continue. You can add Traveler down at the bottom after you're done with this step. But uh, actually, I'm gonna show you all that because I have Danica and the kids with me. So first question is, what, do, what best describes your primary reason? I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. You guys are gonna be optional travel. I'm putting uh, Canada's Canada citizen because I'm permanent resident. So now I just hit this bottom arrow entering by land, so pretty common sense. Um, I'm doing Pigeon River. It's already got my date and time in because I already did this and I'm just going back. Um, so you just put your date and time. That's very important to time. You cannot come after the time. They can cause, it can cause problems. So if you're gonna arrive at 5 p.m., you gotta realize that they're on Eastern time if it's Pigeon River. Fort Francis is on Central, so you gotta add an hour right there. Then add about four to five hours just to be safe. Um, in case there's a line at the border, uh, a lot of reasons. You just don't want to be late. You can be early, but not late. So I hit that arrow. There's my phone number. I already put that in. Secondary phone number is optional. English language. So pretty simple steps, right? Now, people traveling together with the same purpose to travel and who plan to be at the same location for the full duration of their quarantine period can be listed below up to eight travelers. So obviously the kids and wife are gonna follow me. So again, I already got their vax, well, the kids don't have vaccines. I already have their passports up uploaded in here. Same with Rotas, obviously. So it's very simple because I, I've already done it. So I just hit, I'm just hitting check boxes there. Um, and it's just gonna be us four. So then I'm gonna hit the arrow again. Now it's saying COVID testing requirements. Um, please read travelers who are full, qualify as fully vaccinated government. Under 12, no longer need to provide a COVID test. So, so it kind of explains that you don't need a test anymore. Um, five years or younger don't need uh, proof of vaccine. Tells you if you, you know, travels, if, if you tested positive within 10 days, obviously you're ineligible, but if it's after 10 days and before 180 days, you can arrive, it's no big deal. Um, quarantine requirements, it's just, it's a lot of gibberish basically. As a traveler coming to Canada, you need to declare all the countries you have visited last 14 days. Have you visited anywhere besides US? So no, so that's pretty easy. Then it's just a self-assessment saying, you know, are you guys sick or not? So a fever, cough, fever, difficulty, Nope, we're all in good health. Um, thank you for filling out your travel information. Um, your summary, so it shows Port Entry, Pigeon River, the date, time for travelers. Once I hit the submit, it's done. So 
I'm hitting submit. You need this next thing. Right there. If you get to that step, that's how quick it is to fill out the arrive can. And then I just got the email. So that's, that's nice. Anyways, so uh, that's pretty much how simple it is. Um, obviously, the video took me five minutes. It'll probably take you 30 seconds once you got it done to a minute. Um, the only hiccup is the vaccine photos. Um, other than that, you don't want to be late. So, you know, obviously, give yourself some extra time in case there's traffic at the border. And then it might, this time, I was pretty surprised it didn't ask for a quarantine address. If it does that, um, you're going to have to put a physical address, which I don't have at the camp because it's uh, it doesn't show up on their system. So if for some reason it's giving you that headache, just give me a call and uh, I'll get you an address to put down that's um, at the border. But it looks like that is now skipped now. That might have been back during the testing days when you had to test. So if you if, if, you, do, if you do arise, you know, have any hiccups that uh, don't, uh, wasn't covered in the video, just give me a call and then I'll call the border and find out what they want and for a physical address because you can't put that down. So you're just going to say you're going to be going to Trapper's Point Camp. And if they, if they want a physical address, we usually use one Trapper's Point Road and it's Savant Lake, Ontario. And the postal code is P, zero, V is in Victor, two, S is in Sam, zero. And at the border, they can accept that because they did last year when they finally opened up. But on this phone app, that num that address won't show up. The border accepts it, this won't. So if it asks you for it in this, that's when you're gonna have to call me and let me know that's what it's doing. Cause that's what it did last year. And we, we were, I forget the workaround, but we figured a workaround for it. So there you go. That's the arrive can. Um, I got that saved. It's on an email. Um, the B must be for vaccinated. That's new. So they're updating it quite frequently. Other than that, you just gotta fill it that and that's it. Cause the testing is lifted. So yeah, you just gotta fill out the arrive can, be vaccinated and you're good to go. So hopefully that'll clarify a lot of questions that people have with the arrive can app. Thanks for watching.